Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the daily tune-up today. Are you in a relationship and sometimes it seems like that relationship just doesn't want to work? Or one of you seems to not think the other is listening to you? That could be very well the case because many times the longer we're in the same relationship, we become somewhat numb to what other people are saying, the other person in that relationship with us. One of the things I've noticed with many couples I've worked with, even some of the young couples I work with, is one person seems to be dominant and the other person acquiesces to the personality of that other one. Meaning that one person seems to have something to say all the time and has an opinion on all the time and seems to dominate the conversation all the time and in that relationship as it grows, that secondary party, the husband or the wife, who is subject to that kind of conversation starts to atrophy or not speak up. What this does is creates resentment inside of that person because they're never getting to express themselves. Because the more dominant personality of the two relationships always has an opinion and seems to bury that other person in the conversation or get them to submit to their orientation in the way they want to speak and view on a subject. If you're in a relationship like that, it's probably doomed. It's probably not going to work. What we have to do is be aware, first of all, of our own domination of these relationships and these conversations. And if we have a spouse that sometimes we seem to overshadow or always have an opinion and they seem to acquiesce to us, you're creating resentment in that other person and they're burying it deep down inside and one of these days they're going to explode they're going to have just enough and you're going to wonder what happened to your relationship because if you're the dominant one what's happening is you're satisfying your intercourse meaning your conversation you're getting to express yourself perfectly that other person isn't because you dominate them the healing of this takes place when both people recognize this is going to happen. And if you happen to be the submissive one in that relationship, you have to speak up in a way that gets that other person to understand what's going on. The other person that's dominating the relationship has to learn some relationship etiquette and conversational etiquette to allow room for another person to express themselves. These are habits that get built as we grow. Even when we're young people, they start. No one really does this on purpose. They're unaware of doing it. It just seems to work for them in certain situations and it continues to create a pattern that habituates itself and then becomes a habit and then a natural behavior. If you're in a relationship like this and you're the one that's being submissed, it's time to speak up. And I suggest possibly if your significant other won't listen to you, maybe it's time to seek professional help. If you are a dominant person in your relationship and you're analyzing you doing this to your partner, now would be a good time to reappraise that and start working on yourself a little bit. These relationships do not have to collapse. They do not have to break down. However, we do have to listen to what we're saying sometimes. And if you think you may be in danger of this or even suspicious if you are, step out of yourself and just imagine standing over in the corner and watching yourself talk to your spouse any given day and you're gonna see an amazing thing you probably haven't seen before your conversational etiquette and how it works or doesn't work. Let's work on that. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary conversive day. Bye-bye.